Thurinder knelt over the great form of the fallen eagle, his expert fingers tracing the mighty bird's bones. The wing is broken badly, and he has lost a great deal of blood, but he is alive. Eleanor nodded, giving the northern ranger a smile of gratitude. What are his chances of recovery on his own? The ranger looked up, an uncertain look on his face. Not good. If infection sets in, he will almost certainly die, and I have seen only few wounds from a troll's weapon that do not become infectious. Can we give him the care he needs? We owe him and his people a great debt for their aid at the Karuk. If there is a chance we can save him, we must attempt to do so. Thurinder rose a little unsteadily. Then we had best prepare for a long journey. I cannot give him the care he needs. I am not familiar with how to treat the wounds of such a creature. But there is one who might know. Radagast the Brown, who dwells at Roscabel, on the borders of Mirkwood. If you wish to save the eagle's life, we must make haste. Hello, I'm Onidson, and this is Agents of the White Council, my narrative campaign for The Lord of the Rings, the living card game by Fantasy Flight Games, in which I follow a group of heroes as they quest across the length and breadth of Middle-earth, striking back against the shadow in the east. Today we will be playing A Journey to Roscabel, the third quest in the Shadows of Mirkwood cycle. Our decks are a familiar variant on the Eleanor Lanwin Thalen trio that we've been using so commonly. It is heavily biased towards ranged tactics allies because the quest has a number of enemies that can only be defended by ranged characters. The other deck is a mono lore deck that is heavily biased towards providing encounter deck control and manipulation, a lot of card draw, and the ability to heal a little extra damage on Williador towards the end of the game. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and uh, look at our opening hands, decide whether we're going to Mulligan. Um, deck 1 is definitely going to Mulligan. We have far too many tactics cards in our hands, and I'd really like to start out with a Test of Will. Well, it's a little better, still don't have a Test of Will, but we've got a better suite of Spirit cards to play with. Deck 2, I don't have some of the cards that I'd really like to have, but on the other hand, I have an awful lot of card draw. And so, I actually think I'm going to keep it. So we'll pull Gather Information from the sideboard. That's Thurinir's setup ability. Search deck for a side quest and add it to your hand. For ease of uh, use on Octagon, I just put the chosen quest into the sideboard so I could take a mulligan without worrying about shuffling it back in. And I guess without any further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get started with the quest. The Wounded Eagle After a fierce conflict with a group of trolls, you come across a fallen eagle, grievously wounded and on the verge of death. Set up, search the encounter deck for Roscobel and Williador, and add them to the staging area with two damage tokens on Williador, then shuffle the encounter deck. Williador should have two damage tokens on him. Williador is an eagle, a creature and an eagle, with one willpower, one attack, one hit, one defense, and 20 hit points, and cannot have attachment. The first player gains control of Williador as an ally, and at the end of each round, Williador suffers two damage, and he cannot be healed of more than five wounds by a single effect. If Williador leaves play, the players have lost the game. So let's have the first player take control. Roskabel is added to the staging area. At the moment it is two threat, because there are two players in the game. While it's in the staging area, Williador can't be healed, and we must complete stage one of the quest before we can travel to Roskabel. So, that's everything we needed to do. The eagle's wounds cannot be tended in the wilderness, so you attempt to bring the creature to Roskabel, where the wisdom of Radagast the Brown may be its only hope. Let's 
for our opening hands and collect our resources. We have a hasty stroke. We draw yet more card draw. This is brilliant. Let's just start drawing the cards right now. And then let's play Daron's Runes to draw two more cards, discarding, oh, I don't know what, didn't, didn't look out. We have three of them in the opening hand, and while they are useful, I don't think I'll need three. And let's draw two further cards. There's a Dunedin Pipe. And let's, hmm. We need to choose... Yeah, we'll discard one of the Mirkwood Pioneers. By the time we need another one, I think we should be in a position where we'll be alright. Let's organize, pull all the allies over here. Events and attachments. We'll be playing both of those side quests immediately. And over here, deck one. Well, let's start... By playing an Ethereal Swordsman. Let's get some questing out. Let's use. Actually, before we do that, let's use Barrowvor to draw some cards. If we pull up a Test of Will, and I might just play nothing. But we don't. So let's. Honor Guard, Gondorian Spearman, Ethereal Swordsman. Let's arrange our hand so that we're a slightly more intuitive place. Alright, so yes, given that we don't have a test of will available, we will play out an Ethereal Swordsman, save up for an Honor Guard. Honor Guards turned out to be surprisingly useful. I mean, we already knew that they were exceptionally useful in many ways, but the ability to cancel some of that damage on Willyador. That is remarkably useful. In deck two, let's go ahead and play both of our side quests right away. And since we are all about questing for this round. Let's get out the Markwood Explorer, a questing ally. Get him out early and he can start building up some progress to be able to get some location control later on in the game. So with that said, let's go ahead. We'll quest with Willyador and Lanwin and Thalen and the other swordsman. That's one, three, five. 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Against 2 in the staging area, I'm feeling a little vulnerable. Let's quest to scout ahead and see if we can start getting that uh, um, that, victory that victory display mechanic working for us so we can start using the doors closed to cancel treacheries. The first reveal is a Forest Grove, and the second is a Necromancer's Reach. Eleanor will cancel that, replacing it with a Great Forest Club. We've added four threat to the staging area. We make six progress on the quest. And we'll look at the top six cards. Scout ahead is search the top X cards for one non-objective card worth no victory points, add it to the victory display, put the remaining card back in any order, and X is the number of players in the game plus four. So in this case, six. Well, I was hoping there'd be a copy of Exhaustion in those top five cards. Since there isn't, we will send the Necromancer's Reach to the staging area, and then... Well, we now know staging for the next two turns. Um, let's actually go like that.
There we go. So our next turn staging will be driven by Shadow in the Mountains of Mirkwood, which we should be able to clear easily. Followed by, we'll travel to the Mountains of Mirkwood, revealing a Dolgold or Orc, which, when revealed, effect will fizzle because no characters will be committed to the quest because it's the travel phase. The first Shadow card will be in the Necromancer's Pass, and the first card of the next staging will be another Necromancer's Pass. I suppose that indicates that we aren't traveling this round, which I suppose could be slightly annoying, but... All things considered, I think we're all right. Willyodor takes two damage. He's moved over here. We drew a foe hammer. And an East Road Ranger. Well, let's... Oh, and Thurindir gets an extra point of willpower. Let's go ahead and get out a Dunedain lookout. No, we know what's coming. Oh yeah, then we'll get a Dunedain Lookout and a Dunedain Pipe. So, the Dunedain Lookout isn't going to be needed soon, but over here, let's get out an Honor Guard and Unexpected Courage onto... Landman. And Bearable will draw extra cards for Yeah, deck two. Oh! Oh, very nice. Very nice, that is important to have. We'll use that to uh, slip the Greenwood Archer onto the bottom of the deck, drawing a card. Daron's Runes, fine with that. Draw Out of the Wild and Kina's Lances. And I think that we're going to be clearing those side quests just fine without the help of the East Road Ranger. So there is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12 threat in the staging area, and we need to make 16. Oh, and also note that Mirkwood Explorer gained a progress token. We need to make 16 progress to clear gather information. That'll be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, ooh, 14. Maybe I should have made a different choice. Played out the uh, East Road Ranger instead of the Lookout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I can get. Oh, I could have sworn I had fourteen. I could get one more with Eleanor. Well, all right then. Our first reveal is driven by Shadow. Oh, 369, and our second reveal is 2. So, 9, 10, 11. There's a 11th threat in the staging area. And we quested for 14. I should have sent Eleanor to the quest. Eh, I suppose it doesn't matter too much. We will travel to the mountains of Mirkwood, revealing the Dolgold Orcs, who do not take a damage because Thalen is no longer committed to the quest. But by the same token, the Dolgold or Orcs do not deal their damage to a character because nobody's committed to a quest, because it is past the end of the quest phase. So we will optionally engage, we will block with Eleanor, the shadow effect 
does nothing, and Eleanor, or, and Landwin, kills the Dumbledore orcs. The Mirkwood Explorer got an extra point of progress. We will ready everybody up, drawing our new cards. Williador takes two more damage. And I could have blocked one of those with the Honor Guard. Oh. Mm. At the end of each round, Williador suffers two damage. The Honor Guard block cancels a point of damage just dealt to a character. Sometimes that wording is important. You know, since I'm not sure about that interaction, maybe we ought to play as if the Honor Guard can't cancel it. Just to be sure. Anyways, we drew a Mirkwood, uh, Woodland Courier and an Elfstone. Do we have anything particularly useful that we would really like to use an Elfstone to get out? Hmm. Also, let's go ahead and uh, play a couple copies of Healing Herbs out there. And you know what? I'm just going to play out of the wild at this point. Because I know what's coming up. It's a Necromancer's Pass. And... I... Okay, well... At the very least, we can get a Swarming Insects out. One damage to every character without attachments. In many ways, is worse than... Oh, apparently I forgot to send that treachery, Necromancer's Reach, to the victory display. In many ways, this one's worse than Necromancer's Reach. I really wish that I could have gotten a copy of Exhaustion with that, but you do what you can. Keena's Lances is down to two cost. It's not yet useful as a means of generating resources, but it is now, say for example, two resources to reduce threat by four or to draw three cards. I don't anticipate being in a position to need lowering threat. Over here, I mean there are a number of things we could do, but let's drop an Ancient Mathem there and save a resource for a hasty stroke. And save up resources to play some of our tactics attachments. We need to make four progress total. So let's not quest with Williador because of the potential for nasty treacheries. Two with Lanwin. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 against 6 in the staging area. Using Barovor to draw 2 cards for this deck, the possibility exists that we could find a Test of Will. No, but we can find an Ethier Swordsman and another Woodland Courier, meaning that we can nuke as many locations as we need to. That again was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. 13 versus 6, we need to make 4 progress. Might not happen. We reveal a Great Forest Web, and we reveal a Dolgolder Beastmaster, which means we just barely clear the active location and don't clear gather information. Deck 1 draws 3 more cards. But you know what? That was not the worst possible thing that could have happened. We quested successfully. We will
not travel, I guess. Not sure how I feel about that. Oh, the Beastmaster took a damage. Now we should be fine, actually. We can use the Explorer to clear out the Forest Grove and a Woodland Courier to nuke one of the uh, Forest Webs. So, I think we're fine. Ready everybody up? Oh wait, before we do that, we trigger the response of Mountains of Mirkwood, which is why we went there to begin with. Pick a card in the top five, add it to our hand, and shuffle our deck. And pick a card in the top five, add it to hand, and shuffle the deck. Ready everybody up. We get a ranger bow. Williador takes two more damage. We've had a remarkably uh, gentle start here. Remarkably gentle. Over here, we will again play Out of the Wild, hoping to find a copy of Exhaustion. Or Festering Wounds. Festering Wounds is also fine. Sending them both to the victory display. The cost to play Kina's Lances is now zero. So we will immediately play it. Adding two resources to Thurindir's resource pool. Kina's Lances goes to the victory display. Using Barivore to draw cards for, again, I think deck one. Because I would really like to get to one of those tests of will. Alright, the Mirkwood Explorer will make three progress, clearing a forest grove and letting us... Look at all of the cards to find an Athelas. Close and shuffle that, which is guarded by Eyes of the Forest. Everybody discards all of our events. I'm actually really kind of low on events, so I really don't care too much. And then over here, we will spend two resources from Landwind's pool to play a magic ring onto Eleanor, exhaust it, and raise our threat by one to put a resource on her. Then we will play a Dunedain Pathfinder, look at the top five cards of the encounter deck, Add that location to the staging area. Shuffle. And use Eleanor's resources to play a Woodland Courier. Placing two progress tokens on the Great Force web and clearing it. Let's move all of these a little out of the way. Well, all right then. I kind of feel a little better about this. There's currently two, four, six, eight threat in the staging area. We'll travel to the forest grove. And then we'll see where we go from there. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to quest for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
14 against 2468. All right, the first reveal is a Festering Wounds. Deal two damage to each wounded character. The only wounded character is Williador. The second reveal is a Necromancer's Pass. We add three progress. We add three threat to the staging area. We make three progress clearing that. And we will use Gather Information to pull up The Storm Comes. Close and shuffle. And over here, we will use it to pull up. Probably a copy of The Door is Closed. Close and shuffle. Using a Dunedain pipe now to take one of those ranger bows. Well, to take that ranger bow in our hand. And drop it to the bottom of the deck. Drawing a card. Another Dunedain pipe. Okay. Will you door? We'll pass over. We are going to the Forest Grove. We'll exhaust Lanwin to claim the Athelas. And we will ready everybody up. Oh, now we have two copies of the door of the clothes. That was useful. Deck one drew another Woodland Courier. We're going to play out the Storm Comes. And we're also going to play a Warrior of Dale. And I think our next choice will be a Spear of the Citadel off of Thalen's resource next round. And while we're at it, Let's play out a second of your swordsman, boosting both of them to three willpower apiece. Over here, let's play out an elf stone and an Ithilian archer. Now, both decks have ranged characters available for defense and counterattack. And I really feel like we're in a rather strong position here. So, let's go ahead and quest. Two for Lanwin. Three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Therendir has an extra willpower. Twelve. We're up to sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Questing for 21 against 2, 4, 6, 9. We need to make 8 progress. Barovor will draw 2 cards for this deck. Let's play them both immediately. I'm not too overly concerned with threat. Well, okay. The Beastmaster, maybe. But you know what? We're going to have to deal with him anyways. We draw four cards, which I'm sure is at the very least pushing us towards that wonderful day when we will get our tests of will. Four. And you know what? I don't need a second Athelian Archer. We'll use the Dune Pipe to get me a Ranger Bow. Could be worse, I suppose. As we said, 21 verse 9. First reveal is Exhaustion. Eleanor will cancel that, revealing instead Dol Guldur Orcs will do 2 damage to a questing character, just eliminating a Mirkwood Courier. The second card is Athelus, guarded by a Mirkwood Flock. Both of those enemies take a damage from Thalen. 
we have added three to the staging area. A total of two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We were questing for twenty, meaning we make eight progress. We actually need nine because the elf stone added an extra quest point. I will trigger the response on Elfstone to put Bofur into play, and I will trigger the response on Forest Grove to look at all the cards and put an Athelus into play. Close and shuffle. Guarded by another Forest Grove. The Mirkwood Explorer gets a progress for questing successfully. <coughs> and we will travel, I think, to a forest grove. All right, let's go ahead and make some engagement checks. Um, that could actually get slightly annoying, I think. Okay, if I optionally engage, all right, no matter what happens, we're going to get two engaged over with this deck, but we're going to have to have one engaged over here. That is less than, I'm less than enthusiastic about that idea. Um... You know what? I'll optionally engage the Mirkwood flock right here, and then the Dolgolder orcs will come right there, and the Beastmaster will come right there. Let's ready up Eleanor using the ring. No, you know what? That's what I wanted. Optional over here, the Mirkwood Flock. Okay. Now, deal out shadow cards. Eleanor will block the orcs. Williador is going to take three additional damage, and there's nothing I can do about that. I have no shadow cancellation. That's annoying. Get the second one, and actually, we're going to block with the Honor Guard, who should survive this. It's not undefended. Choose and exhaust a character we control. No, wait. Will exhaust Will Yudor. Okay. The Honor Guard takes two points of damage. The Athelian Archer will block the Mirkwood Flock, taking a point of damage. Now, Bofur will attack for two damage, killing the Dolgolder Orcs. And two from the Warrior Dale and three from Lanwin is enough to kill the Beastmaster, leaving. The Merc would flock alive to fight another day. Will you know, we'll take two more damage. Come over to this side. We'll ready everybody up. Hmm. This is unfortunate. We draw a Merc with Pioneer. And... Arwen and Domio. Frankly, I think I'm going to abandon the storm comes. We need to clear. <clears throat> this stage of the quest fast.
Okay. Play a Mirkwood Pioneer. Trigger the Doomed One effect. To cancel the threat of Necromancer's Pass and Staging. And over here, we will play a Woodland Courier. No. Two progress onto Roscabel. We still have a third more Woodland Courier in hand. And if we clear this stage, we can travel to Roscabel. Yeah. Or even just clear Roscabel next round with the second Woodland Courier. It has the forest location. Clearing it, allowing me to exhaust both these characters to do healing herbs, restoring 10 hit points to the wounded Williador. Also over here, we're going to play a Spear of the Citadel. And our Warrior of Dale is now three attack and ranged. Has only one defense, but now deals a point of damage to the enemy he's defending against, which means he will immediately kill Mirkwood Bats, or the Black Forest Bats, and with only a single point of extra damage from somewhere else, he'll kill a Mirkwood Flock. Okay, let's quest. There's four threat in the staging area, and we need to make 11 progress. So we're going to quest all out. Two, no, one, three, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 with Bofer, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 verse 4, we need to make 11 progress, which we will as long as there's less than 13 threat in the staging area, which I think we're fine with, so Barrevoir will draw cards for deck 2. We should note that we can cancel Necromancer's Reach, or Festering Wounds, or Swarming Insects, any of the three, with the doors closed. The first reveal is a Black Forest Bats, takes a damage from Thalen. The second reveal is Chieftain Uftak, who also takes a damage from Thalen. We've added four threat to the staging area. We made 16 progress. Clearing the Forest Grove, we will trigger its response to find another Athelos, just in case. That Athelus is guarded by a King Spider, which would like us to exhaust each player, exhaust a character we control. And I'll discard a Dunedin Lookout to say no to that effect. We have cleared the quest so we'll reveal oh let's flip that and read the story text the eagle's health has grown worse but you have at last arrived at roscabel where radagast examines the bird he then asks you to head out into the wilderness to find the healing plant athelus meantime any healing lore or supplies your party has at its disposal could be used to assist in comforting the eagle until you return now we flip that. Oh, we travel to Roscabel. And Roscabel can now, or also the Mirkwood Explorer got his extra progress, and Williador can now be healed. OK. 
Okay. How are things going to go? If I do nothing, engagements will fall out like that. If I optionally engage if tech over here, engagements end up like that. Ew, that's really not great. But it's what we'll do. Like that. We are going. Oh, blocking using Williador would be a very dangerous thing. You know what? I am going to raise my threat by one to put a resource onto Eleanor. Why? It does nothing, really. Except for put my threat up to 40, which means I'm now in Valor and can discard an Honor Guard to cancel f up to 5 damage dealt to Williador. So if the shadow effect is unfortunate, then... We can save that way. You know what? Actually, if I'm going to do that, and even better, block the Merkwood flock with the Athelian Archer. The attack is not undefended. The Archer is dead. That's unfortunate. Take the King's Spider undefended. Ooh. We lived through it. Let's uh, put that damage onto Barivor. And be careful with her stuff. Now over here, the Warrior of Dale will block the back forest bats, dealing them a point of damage, killing them before anything else happens. And now the moment of truth. Eleanor blocks. The enemy gets plus one attack. If tech is attacking for four. You know what? I have healing. I'll take the damage. Next round of tech will be attacking for five. And Lanwin will exhaust to grab a second thing of Athelas. You know. Between that and healing herbs. No, Lanwin will not exhaust to do that. Lanwin will exhaust to kill the King Spider. Williador takes two more damage. Readies up. Everybody readies. You know what? I think that while I could do a great deal of good, there's a hasty stroke, there's a Warden of Healing, let's get that Warden of Healing out, exhaust to heal Bellarivor and Eleanor, spend two resources to do it again. Exhaust Thurindir and Mirland. Discarding. Not discarding. Um, removing from the game these healing herbs. I'll put them up here since the victory display is being used for something else. Healing. 10. We'll spend two resources from. Eleanor to play an unexpected courage onto Thurindir, exhausting it to ready him. Then we will use the magic ring, raise threat by one, add a resource to Eleanor, spend both of those resources on Woodland Courier, 
on the Woodland Courier, clearing the Great Forest Web, and exhaust the Mirkwood Explorer to move the two progress from him to the Necromancer's Pass, thus clearing it. All right. And now we will exhaust Eleanor to claim the first Athelos, Lanwin to claim the second, and we will quest two for Lanwin, three with Thalen, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, leave one courier up for chump block just in case, 14, 18, 19, 21, 21 threat against an empty staging area, we need to make 14 progress. Okay, the first reveal is Swarming Insects. Deal a point of damage to every character without an attachment. Um, how badly would that hurt? I'm considering letting it go through. No, you know what? I'm just going to play the doors closed on it. Second reveal. Ungoliant spawn. I should have played. I should have played the something else. Okay. We lose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine willpower. Reducing us to twelve. Against three, we make two progress, and six. We send Roscoe Bell to the victory display. Well, well, well. And we engage on Goliath Spawn. I was expecting to quest a victory today. I should have played that last tune at Look out, it's what I had him in the hand for. Well, nothing I can do about that. And we will deal out our shadow cards. Of attack, it's attacking five. I'm going to throw a Woodland Courier under that bus right there. Okay. Ungoliant's spawn is attacking for five. And I will block with the Warrior of Dale. Who dies, but does a point of damage. And Ungoliant's spawn should have taken a damage from Thalen as well. If I had put a Raiment of War on him instead, he wouldn't be dead. But that's okay. And take the Merkwood Flock undefended. Putting that damage onto Mirland. Ready everybody up. Williador takes two damage. Now we have access to a test of will. We're going to play Arwen. Use the magic ring to raise our threat by one to add another resource to Eleanor's resource pool. I did this backwards, of course. We're going to play Kina's Lances because it's free. We'll use it to... I don't know, reduce our threat by four. There's really not much more to do. 
Exhaust the Warden of Healing. Spend two resources to do it again. We're healing. Belvor, Mirland, and Williador removing the Warden of Healing from the game. Was that strictly necessary? No, probably not. But now we'll quest. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 22, 24. Questing for 24. We'll leave that up in case of some unimaginably awful series of events that leaves us unable to clear the quest. 24 versus an empty staging area. The first reveal is Mirkwood Flock, takes the damage from Thalen. The second reveal is exhaustion cancelled with a test of will. We've added one threat to the staging area. We make 23 progress, leaving us with 29 progress on stage 2 of the quest. We advance the quest. Feeling that time is running out on Williador's life, you gather the Athelus you have found and head back to Roscabel. You arrive at night wondering if you have found enough of the herb. When revealed, heal five wounds from Williador for each Athelus objective card the players control. We control three. There are ten wounds. He is completely healed. He survives and we have won the game. Still engaged with Chieftain of Tack, Angolian Spawn, and a Mirkwood Flog. That was interesting. I suppose maybe I should have spent some of Thalen's resources on something like a Gondorian Spearman or something to give me extra defenders to kill some things with, or to leave my heroes up to kill things with, but at this point I was just going to quest past them. If this had been a couple of turns ago, I'd have stuck around and tried to figure out how to muster the attack power to kill both Uftak and Ungoliant's spawn. And in previous run-throughs of the quest, I had done just that. You notice that uh, our hand is full of tactics cards we couldn't play because of uh, never actually completing the storm comes. We had a run of bad luck, really, um, with our... with staging the that us spending a couple rounds just not clearing side quests, or in two cases, just one short. If we had, then a number of these tactics allies would already be in play. We'd have been able to, say, play that Greenwood Archer, which would have given us another ranged character with some attack power. This run through really hammered home just how much I was relying on those ranged characters like the Athelian Archer for attack power to kill things. That's interesting. But still, we quested to victory. We managed our combat relatively well, and even if things didn't go all our all as planned, we were just fine anyways. It's Yeah, it's, it's an interesting quest. Can't say that Roscabel is one of my favorites, but it's an interesting one. Um, previous run-throughs, by the way, have not ended with the storm comes not complete and all of those tactics cards sitting in my hand unable to be played. Once the storm comes has been uh, cleared, all those tactics allies are actually easy to get out and None of the tactics attachments are particularly expensive. They aren't too much of a drain on Thalen's resources. We can end up very, very easily uh, playing all the things we need. Um, we never did get the Necklace of Girion out. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. It didn't show up until uh, much closer to the end, so there never really was a need to play it. Um, earlier uh, 
other playthroughs during the testing of these decks i got it out consistently put it on land when she was generating resources we cleared the storm comes and we were spending all sorts of resources getting out fornos bowmen um, more warriors of dale oh huh. I just realized that we threw Lanwin's brother under the bus of uh, Angolian's spawn. <laughs> well, I think that might be time to narratively interpret that as a incapacitating wound rather than a dead person. Eh, maybe. Unless we... Unless the narrative works better with her brother dead. I don't know. We have already put that poor girl through a lot. Being captured in the the prisons of the necromancer and now uh her brother getting killed by a giant spider well i think we are at the end of the game here there's not much more i want to say we the decks performed by and large as i wanted them to the quest performed by and large rather nicely to us I've lost a number of times against this quest with these decks, even with all the treachery gener treachery cancellation we had. There were playthroughs I tested where it just wasn't enough. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I hope to see you next time as we take on the Hills of Emin Wheel. Goodbye.